It's the 21st of March 2016, and <clears throat> we have decided to uh, finally get back to work in this room. Uh, this is, as I've said many, many times, the last room in the house that we have to, to renovate, to rebuild, uh, basically. And <clears throat> uh, Karin is now, her, uh, has completely healed from her surgery. I'm still having, well, I will continue to have difficulties with my legs and my back, but uh, that's, we're going to have to just uh, deal with that anyway. Uh, in the picture there is a box with a brand new Makita um, angle grinder. I've been planning on doing an unboxing and also a video about angle grinders in general, because uh, as ubiquitous as they are, there are certain things that uh, we often forget or don't know about them, um, especially in uh, taking care of them. And uh, I won't go too much into the safety. Everybody knows how dangerous they are, but uh, <clears throat> particularly about taking care of them, uh, even when they're brand new, they need a certain degree of attention. So uh, that'll come one of these days when I get around it. But, the meet but first of all, we're going to really try to get this room uh, get working on this room. Karin has to uh, plaster the ceiling and I've shown you the ceiling before. It, uh, it really is a uh, in shape that needs uh, like a lot, of, a lot of work. It needs a lot of work. It's, uh, it's a, a clay ceiling <clears throat> and she's not going to put clay on it. I mean, she's not going to finish it with clay. She's going to use plaster and um, ordinary plaster. I see also these chrome, uh, this uh, overflow up here. I have to take that off, close up the electric outlet. This part of the uh, wall here where the stove is. Oh, I've got that. Too. That's why this part of the uh, wall where the stove is, is, is finished, plastered. Um, <clears throat> this wall here, of course, <laughs> this was the, the plaster. There's new plaster on the wall, but it cracked. And Karin scraped all of the cracks open here. And she's going to put, um, well, or she has in part put um, textile tape in there to keep it from cracking again. That has to be done. This wall here will just need to be uh, lightly plastered over. There's still wallpaper on it here. We won't bother even removing it. And uh, <clears throat> this wall needs to be repaired. There, she'll fill that with clay actually there and then put plaster over it. This is where I replaced that, um, that wall socket down there. So that's done. This um, this part of the wall under the window here has to be uh, has to be finished. We'll do that with those using those pumice bricks there. And uh, that's the that's the story basically. But the next thing to do, and the reason I'm here today, and what I'm going to do is take everything out of here. Hi, Valentine. Take everything out of this room. And uh, um, or everything but the stove, and we will then put a plastic uh, tarp down on the floor and cover the window. the The, the windows will have to be completely taped up and covered uh, because we're going to spray a binding. Um, undercoating primer on the wall. It's a, um, I forgot what the compound is that it is, but in any case, it, uh, you spray it on, it's just a clear liquid. I'm going to use a big garden sprayer actually and spray the ceiling and the, and the walls. And then, uh, and then uh, she can plaster from there. If you don't do that, the plaster will come off of the uh, of the clay. 
<clears throat> so there's the uh, there's this undercoating there on the t on the table that that uh, canister there. Um, that will uh, go on and dry. You have to cover the windows and the door because if it gets on them, they uh, it leaves little spots that you can hardly remove. You have to use practically you have to use boiling water to remove it. So we'll uh, get to that. I hope this week get done with that. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I've had a really bad cold. Um, and then next week, Karin plans to uh, go on uh, plastering the ceiling. So I'm going to get to that now, and uh, we'll we'll uh, bring you back when the room's empty, and you can see how we've done. And then when we uh, when I spray the the um, the this uh, clear coating on the walls. I may bring you back then and show you how I do that. It's very simple, just using a, like I say, just using a plain garden sprayer. Okay, that's it for now. So now it's the 24th of March, uh, what is that, Thursday. And we're, um, Karin is going to fill in some of these holes, these cracks here with uh, the clay that she has been using, that she uses to, uh, because these walls, as you can see here, uh, over there in the corner, that's clay, and she's going to fill in the walls with clay before she puts plaster over the top. And uh, clay holds the best, and it makes the the most solid wall surface. So she's going to do that and uh, get this room ready for the final plastering. Valentino, überleg sich noch mal. been doing this for 10 years so she knows how it's done. <laughs> this is old clay that we've taken out of other parts of the house or other places. Um, it has straw in it, <clears throat> chopped, chopped straw and it's uh, far superior to any of the new materials that you can get hmm? on board.
she roughs it up a little on the surface then and she prefers to use her hands to using any kind of a tool because it needs to be rough it needs to be uneven so that the uh, the plaster will stick kann ich kann ich was machen Using her hands, you can massage this uh, clay into the wall better, and uh, that has the advantage that it really sticks well then to the to the old clay because there is already clay in the wall there. This is, as I said, this is old clay that she has mixed with water. And uh, and as I also said, it contains it contains uh, chopped straw. So I guess you get the idea that that uh, how, how she's doing that. And uh, I'll bring you back a little later. There's some kind of chalk or something in this place under the window here. And we're going to probably have to do something with that. I mean, we're not, we're not probably going to. We're definitely going to have to do something with it. It's been filled in with pieces of wood and... Oh, there are just those blocks, those same bricks. Uh, they're pumice, pumice bricks that have some kind of um, chalk. It's not clay, it's something else. Yeah, lime, lime filler or something. That is ein uh, Brecheisen, direkt über dein Kopf da. Das ist kaputt machen. Also, ich dachte, wo es aus. Nein, ah. das ist ja nicht. Ich will nur den einen Stein. Aha.
so. Vielleicht sollen wir Reviews davor machen. Bitte? Nein, du musst die Heizung machen. Ja, eben. All right, that's all the work for today. <coughs> This um, part under the window is closed up and everything is tight. That can be um, plastered over now. The other side, the stones on the, the bricks on the other side have to be uh, uh, put in. Those are, that's actually uh, pumice. They look like uh, cement uh, blocks, but they're actually pumice stone, uh, which is what this house is filled, I mean, in between the half timbering, that's what the house is filled with. So um, we'll use a um, cement mixture to uh, put that in. And um, when that's done, then Karin can plaster over the whole thing. The The radiator come, uh, goes in there, of course, you can see the the pipes on the right side there. <clears throat> the rest of it's done around the windows there. Well, done means, <laughs> yeah, it uh, it won't, wind won't blow through it anymore. Yeah, and um, we can then finish, do the finishing on the inside. From, uh, this had to be done first, of course. So that's it for today. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.